How did you get into Jewish music? So my first answer would be by, by surprise. Uh, so I, I moved to Montreal in, nine, in 97. As a, I had a PhD in math and I came here to, for a postdoc. And uh, for years and years, I had been struggling with the idea of, of stopping uh, mathematics, of quitting mathematics and, and becoming a musician. But when you're, you're good in math in France, uh, there's basically, uh, if and you don't have a super strong will, uh, force de caractère, uh, you just go like a horse, you know, you, you jump like that because you're good and, and the, your parents, your friends, the teachers, every, everybody, it, they all come together to, to say, you like music, you, you can play music on the side, but you know what, get a job and find a job. So that's basically what I did. And when I came to Montreal, I, I met people who said, if you don't like math and you want to be a musician, be a musician. And it's a way of thinking that is completely completely foreign to, to, I think, I would say Europeans. I, 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 I suspect it's, it's a general thing in all countries. Came to Montreal and by coming to Montreal when my family, my grandparents were getting, starting to get old. So I, I, it, it's interesting that when I was very close to them, I, I didn't feel any need to, to be Jewish or, or to have more uh, Jewish activities or but I left and 6,000 kilometers from them, I suddenly, it triggered something and I felt I was l missing something or losing something or something was, was going away and, and that was precious. And so I just spread the word in my uh, environment that, uh, that I would like to, to play klezmer. Uh, I met Klesmer thanks to my dad actually, who sent me a, a, a recording from uh, Joa Feynman, uh, an old one where, from, from the 70s, where he plays his clarinet, guitar, and uh, double bass. That's it. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's one of his first recordings, I think. And I f fell in love. And, and then I met a band here in Montreal. Uh, they were uh, rehearsing in the garage and playing a few minor gigs. But they had a lot of, I mean, a big potential, and I saw that, and then I jumped. And at that time, I was studying at McGill, music at McGill, so I, I was really excited to write arrangements. So I wrote lots of arrangements for, for the band, and, and at that time, I was playing the accordion. So anyway, I mean, uh, and at that time, too, in Montreal, uh, Klesmer was really, like, in demand. Um, I became the manager of the band and musician arranger and my phone would ring all the time. I mean people were wanting to hire us because that was really the revival, Klesmer revival happened in Montreal in the late uh, 90s and beginning of this century and we were there exactly at the right moment so and and, and, and and then the reason why I, I did that and I didn't stop doing that is I think I've been looking for a smart answer to this question and never found it. But the stupid answer, which is I think it, the answer is that it felt like familiar and like home. Um, it made sense. So it's like reconnected with, reconnecting with something that was deep inside me or... But when I read books about Klesmer, that's what people say. Like I. I I don't know if we ask Frank London why he's so big on Klesmer, he would say, I, I met Klesmer and it was like me.